Hello, Michael. Dr. Kaiser. Well, as you can see, the gang threw a bit of a bye-bye bash for me. Can I get you something? Uh, some punch, a placebo? <laughs> some ashtrays? <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> I stopped by to have a little talk with you, Michael, before you're discharged. No need to drop more quarters in my confidence meter, Dr. K. <laughs> with your guidance, this guy's geared to get up and get out. <laughs> I'm glad you're geared. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, uh, tomorrow I want you to give Dr. Lyons a call. He's a wonderful therapist, a good friend of mine. But what do I need him for? <laughs> you're my doctor. I'm afraid I have to withdraw from your case. Oh, what, now that I'm a loony on the loose, you're throwing me to the lions? It's not like that at all, Michael. You see, I've, I've been having these feelings for you. Feelings that a doctor should not be having for her patient. You mean you don't like me? Quite the opposite. You mean I don't like you? <laughs> Michael, I'm attracted to you. Huh? Isn't it ridiculous? <laughs> I know it sounds crazy. I usually fall for professional men, men with careers and, and futures. <laughs> but there's something, uh, I don't know, erotic about you. Did you say erotic or neurotic? <laughs> oh, what difference does it make? I can't see you anymore. It's just not right. Good luck, Michael. I'm sure you'll be just fine out there. 